Hey everybody, I know it's been a hot second since I've done a video, maybe like, I don't know, a year or two, but you know, I had the camera set up for like this work thing that I had to do and I had the light set up and um, I just figured why not sit down and talk about a few fall favorites that I've been using and loving lately. I know that on the site I test a lot of products and I review a lot of products and once they're pushed off the front page it's easy to forget about them. These are the items that I have loved so much that I keep them in my um, permanent makeup bag and I use them all the time, even on weekends. So let's jump right in. This, I'm going to start off with um, YSL Touche Clat. I know this isn't a new product. This has been around like forever and so many people love it. And I never quite understood why for the longest time. Years ago, I tried it and you know, I wasn't really wowed by it. I just thought, meh, okay, and I actually returned it. Um, I just didn't think it was all that. but. I was at Sephora um, about a month and a half ago and <laughs> I was stress shopping, you know, when that happens and you're like, you have a really bad day and you just want to like go and look at pretty lipsticks or whatever and you grab one of the baskets and things just start falling in and this was one of the things that fell in and the reason why I picked it up was because there were some new shades out and this one's 4.5 and what it is is basically it's like a highlighter and some people, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a concealer, but some people also use it as a highlighter. I primarily use it to conceal my under eye circles. So, um, I, you just press the button here at the bottom and then the product comes out here at the top. I usually just put it underneath my eyes and then pat it in with a finger. What I love about this is that it looks really beautiful in pictures and in real, real life too, it doesn't look heavy. Um, and all I do is like, I don't really do anything fancy. I just I put it on. I take it like underneath my eye down the side of my nose and like from here into this triangle area, apply it, use my finger to pat it down and then I set it with a powder and it lasts all day. Admittingly, if I have like a really, really long day, like a 14 or a 16 hour day, which I do sometimes, this does sort of like peter out toward like hour 12, 10 or 12. So. Another good thing about it is that you can reapply it on top of other products. Like, I've noticed that if I have this on and then powder it down and then hours later put a little bit more on top, it still looks really, really good. It doesn't look cakey or heavy, so good stuff. I'm a believer. Next thing, um, Clarence Be Long Mascara. Oh my gosh. So when I think of Clarence, I usually think of like skincare and um, they're awesome instant light glasses, which are amazing. So if you don't have that yet, you should try one of those. But anyway, Be Long Mascara launched earlier this fall. Freaking phenomenal. Uh, my lashes are, they're straight. You know, they're not like sparse. I have a good amount, but they're like really straight and they're kind of average, they're not thick. And this does wonderful things to them. I curl mine with my Shumura Lash Curler, pop like a layer or two of this on and they, stay curled all day long and they're like really separated. I mean, if you need like intense, intense thickness, you may still want to go along like the route of like YSL, um, Faux Sales or something like Chanel Le Volume. This though, it's not as intense as either of those two, but you still get a good amount of thickness, lots of great length, amazing lash curl, total unsung hero. I need to go back and pick up a tube or like five. Okay, what else? Um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealers. Now these came out earlier this year and you know, I like them, but I didn't start really putting these into heavy rotation until like a month or two ago. These are really, really great for full coverage on um, like your cheeks or your, anywhere actually on your face, any area where you want full coverage. and. What I usually do is I'll do a layer of my foundation first, which is MAC Face and Body, and then I will apply, um, yeah, I have three of them, <laughs> kind of involved, but uh, yeah, I, earlier this summer I was using Biscuit, which has a lot of red. I mean, earlier in the fall I was using Biscuit, which has a lot of red, but ever since my tan faded, um, I mixed two of them, which is caramel and ginger. And after I apply my foundation, I dot this directly on the skin, take a skunk brush, buff it out, and, um, and take another <laughs> brush and then kind of buff it down to merge the concealer into the foundation. And it just looks very natural, but at the same time it covers everything up. I actually use this on the weekends all the time when I don't want to wear a ton of makeup. I'll like skip the face and body, put a little bit, bit of this on, um, set it with a powder, and I'm good to go. Sometimes. 
when I want more of a radiant look, I'll do like a little bit of Mac Strobe Cream, um, mix, and then mix this with Strobe Cream on the back of my hand, and then apply that with a skunk brush. And that's really pretty too if you want more of a luminous, dewy look. Okay, other things. <sighs> so, for Holiday NARS came out with this amazing cheek palette and um, it's called the One Night Stand Palette and it's wonderful and what I really like this for is to mix and match colors. These two are my favorite here in the middle. Um, what I usually like to do is I grab a little bit from both pans and then with a blush, blush brush and then I take that brush and I like, hey, let me just grab, I have a powder brush right here. I'll just give you an example. Um, you take this and then that and then you take whatever's on your brush and you press it in your palm and this kind of like works the powder into the bristles and then um, then I apply it on my cheeks. I learned this trick from Mark Reagan who's a phenomenal artist for Bobby Brown. I went to a class of his at um, Saks Fifth Avenue and seriously like in an hour and a half I learned so much. I'll link him along with all these products down below and in the post. Um, just so in case you want to follow him on Twitter, he's, he's really nice and he has a lot of like great tips. But um, yeah, so if you're ever going to like mix colors like that and if you're using like a powder or a brush, use these two things, work it in and then apply it on your cheeks. And then um, what I usually also like to do sometimes is layer that on top of like a highlighter. Um, like there is a highlighter here in this palette as well that I'll do, apply that first. Eee, it's making so much noise. I apply that first on my uh, like upper cheekbones and then do the blush mix on top. So that way there's just a little bit of the highlighter peeking through and it doesn't look super shiny. And um, I, know, I just think it has this really nice radiance to it that you can't, you can't always get from traditional highlighters. That particular method is just, it's a really great way of getting some glow without lip making your face look overly shiny. So love that. Um, other things that I've been using lately. Oh, okay, so Max Holiday Collection came out earlier last month and there are a bunch of like um, eye kits and face kits and by far my favorite is Stroke of Midnight. Let me show it here. This one's so pretty, I love it. Um, this one has Mulch, Amber Lights, and Femfi, which is amazing. And then there are these two other colors here that you can use. I use this kind of like weird yellowy one. It looks strange in the pan, it's actually really pretty on as a transition color and this like darker brown is really pretty as a liner. But anyway, what I love this for is mostly for mulch, um, which is a beautiful like shimmery brown, but the thing that I love about it is it's not too red. So if your skin tones, if you usually like to wear like warmer browns, um, like MAC, soft brown or max saddle but around winter time uh, um perhaps those colors may look a little too red on you um mulch is a really pretty color to have around to like add a little bit of extra definition i think it's really nice and i also love um femfi why can't i open this right now femfi femfi right there this is beautiful as a highlighter it's like this golden let me swatch it um it's like this pearly sort of beigey gold. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. And it's really beautiful like in the inner corners or on the brow bones. If you find that it's too frosty, if you put it on the brow bone, you can always like apply it first and then um, pop like a matte on top of it. Like really, it's a good one. I do that one all the time. Or you can do something like vanilla. Okay, now I'm talking really fast. I'm just trying to get a lot of information in. Okay, one last thing. Oh, a few more things. Um, Guerlain. 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 Sorry. Not that I took three years of high school French or anything. My teacher would be completely mortified. Sorry, madame. Je suis désolée. Um, anyway, this is one of their new Gloss on Fairs. Gloss on Fairs. It came out um, a few months back. And this particular color... I love for the holidays. It is 400 and it's like this sparkly gold. It's so pretty. I mean, it's beautiful on its own. Let me see. I hope that the camera is going to pick this up. I don't know. Um, it's like this sparkly shimmery gold and it's so gorgeous. Um, I like it on bare lips, but I also like it layered on top of other things like corals 
or like red lips looks phenomenal on so really pretty holiday color and the thing with it is that it's super glittery but it doesn't have that grit which is annoying um it's also very hydrating and very comfortable um if you like colors like mac plush glass and nice buzz you probably love this okay also from guerlain um they have these they came out with a nail line like they revamped their nail polishes and they came out with a bunch of nail products and they have this base coat and top coat oh my gosh so phenomenal really really great i put this on um an at-home pedicure a few weeks ago and i uh, used like a color from opi and with these two things um with the base and top coat i didn't get any chips for three weeks so that's really great okay let's see <sighs> one more thing ud um urban decay came out earlier in the fall with a new line of lipsticks. This one's, there's so many different colors, but this one's my favorite. Um, I'm wearing it right now, it's Naked. And it's just like a neutral pink. And I love that it's not like too, too pinky or too brown. I mean, I just think it's like a color that a lot of people can wear. And I wear it all the time. And this actually looks really pretty um, layered with this girling gloss. Oh, Naked. Naked three, Naked three, Naked three. Okay, since we're talking about UD, let me just mention this one more thing before um, I sign off. As you know, Naked 3 came out, or um, will be coming out later on this month, and here it is. And it's super pretty. I'm wearing it again. Today I wore it yesterday for the first time, but here it is. Do, 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 in all its rose gold glory. Um, this palette is so pretty, you guys. I mean, I love it mostly because of the colors, darker colors here at the end, which I think, oh, there goes the brush. Should be amazing for smoky eyes. Um, I know that a lot of the redheads on the site are going crazy. So if you happen to have red hair, uh, this might really suit you well. But really, I think it's going to suit almost everybody. Um, and I like that it's distinct enough from the first two naked palettes because it's got all of the eyeshadows have this rose gold tone. Um, I'm wearing it right now. What colors am I wearing? I'm wearing Liar on the lid with a lip. It's just this color here. So pretty. And then with dark side, like smudged along the lash line. So yeah, this is coming out later on this month. Um, UD hasn't given like a firm date yet, but you can sign up on their website to get the email notification for when it's going to be formally out. All right. So um, I think that's it for now. I'm actually really surprised that tabs didn't come by. I swear to you, every time I turn on the camera, he'll like come into the room and then start crunching his food because his food is his food bowls in this room or like jump up on my um chair right next to me or like jump up on the table behind me i know he's really obnoxious but i think he's upstairs taking a nap so darn it hopefully next time you'll be able to see him but thank you for watching and i will see you soon bye